guys, it's Amen Oiboke with the LA Sentinel. We're here at the 47th Annual NAACP Image Awards. So I have to say, a lot of people are talking about the comparison with the Oscars boycott and we're talking about the Super Bowl, so stay tuned. So we know that you're in the Book of Negroes. How did you prepare for your role? Well, I did, uh, I did a lot of um, dialect training. Um, I tried to you know, study everything that I could about a woman like her. And I felt like we had a lot in common, that character and I. And I tried to like reach those places that I had in common, but the places that I didn't, I tried to discover her as I would a new friend. Yes. And, and how would you relate your character to what's going on now? If you had to place your character and actually put them in the present, how would you explain their being in the society? If that makes any sense. Explain it to them or her explain it? In how, well, I, you know, the kind of woman that Amanata was and is, I think she would know. She would understand it. I mean, it's interesting. It's kind of like the same situation a different day. You know, she was someone who had to constantly prove herself because, I mean, she was a brilliant woman. She could read when no one around her could read. Um, and being someone who was a reader and being literate and not just knowing how to read, but the kind of books that she read, she was a revolutionary. And it, these times, we have to be revolutionary. We have to be revolutionary and defy fear in every way possible. It's time. You are speaking to me. I'm so serious. I mean, you're being revolutionary tonight with your dress. Explain to me, take it down, Mississippi. Explain to me the, the back in that. Well, Mississippi is the only state in the Union that uses the stars and bars, the battle flag of Virginia, whatever you want to call it. But it is the only state in the Union that uses that symbol. And it's time for it to go. It's over. It's time for it to go. It's our swastika. We all are responsible for it. We all are complicit in it. Because it's a state flag, whenever it hangs on federal property, that's our tax, That's our taxpayer money. You pay for it. She pays for it. She pays for it. We all pay for it. And how do we feel paying for a symbol that is a symbol of something that is about genocide? for African Americans, and not just African Americans, anyone who is not white and male. So it's time for our, it's a point in our history when we need to get rid of that and let it go and move on, move forward. And within those sentiments, um, how do you feel about the whole Oscar boycott, especially because there was no people of color nominated, and we're here tonight celebrating people of color? Yes, well, I, I support it completely, and I, I would love it if, you know, I'm gonna be honest, if Chris Rock were the only person in the building, you know, I would love that. I mean, that had, making that kind of statement would be very, very profound. But the real deal is, if it weren't just African Americans who stayed home, if our white contemporaries would stay home too, and they would, they would get it. They would see that there's a consequence for excluding great work.